What's going on everybody? C4, welcome back to the channel and today we're here for episode 5 of our Madden 22 Philadelphia Eagles franchise rebuild. Set on Thursday, if that video had 1500 likes, I would make a double header. Saturday and Sunday, both new episodes of the Philadelphia Eagles franchise. I think we're almost at 2500 likes, maybe even, I don't even know, I haven't checked this morning. It's incredible, I absolutely... And the last person that is like panned for likes, you know, that typical, like before you get in the video, all that stuff. But since we've been setting our like goals, we've been smashing it. And I, what I've been saying at the end of my videos is when I've been saying, hey, get the likes, is like, you type in C, like Madden 22, c 4 is coming like the first 10 videos. So all these likes have been immense for my channel here on YouTube, the channel health here on YouTube. And I very much appreciate it. I'm very much, and I like to think that it's not because I'm asking for likes, it's because you genuinely in, you know, enjoy and are having an absolute time watching this content as much as I am creating this Philadelphia Eagles franchise. So thank you very much. If we can hit, again, it, I, we'll, we'll make it We'll make it very attainable, 1,200. Let's go 1,200 likes on this video. And tomorrow's video will be on the Eagles franchise, I think. Sound fair? Sound good? 1,200 Eagles franchise tomorrow? Let's do that. Let's rock and roll with that. But for today, we got week 11. We have the six and three Saints. I'm working on a little bit of a deadline because I'm cooking ribs out on the Traeger. Got to try to get them done before the Raiders game kicks off. About six hours. And we got to get this episode in. And it is six and three New Orleans. They're a squad that I, I, I want to I want to sneak a peek. You know, I mean, this is real life Saints, but... Real life Saints are not six and three. So like, what's going on there? Where's the disconnect between the Saints in real life and the Saints here in Madden? Obviously we are a couple games past and beyond real life, but is James Winston on this pace in real life? Like, I feel like he's not. He's definitely not, I feel like he's not doing bad for the Saints, but he's been hot and cold. 24 touchdowns to seven picks. He's playing like an MVP candidate. Okay. Well, you get Alvin Kamara. Okay, everyone, you know, we know what Alvin Kamara brings to the table. You have Michael Thomas, who came back from injury, averaging 84 yards a game. He's unstoppable. How are we going to stop him? I don't know. Hopefully, Darius Slay follows him, I, I, I guess. You know, you got defense. Malcolm Jenkins, a little bit of a revenge game for him. Not a lot of sacks. Passing Young's the best pass rusher. Not bad interception numbers across the board. Seems like it's a it's a well oiled unit. They're not cramping. They're not uh, you know. There's no risk of rust. Everyone's eating there. And I'm coming on the back of a game where we had what four, three, four picks with Jalen Hurts. <sighs> you know, I, I just hope we can move past that last game. That's that's all I hope. We we you know our three game win streak faltered. Because we had so many interceptions. Seeing all those interceptions in the secondary for the Saints is not what you want to see. Seeing Jameis Winston and now a healthy Michael Thomas is not what you want to see. But I still think at the end of the day, we're both 82 overall. And if I don't turn the ball over to Jalen Hurts, I think we get back to our winning ways. So before we get into the Saints game, though, we have this option here, scouting focus player. So we get to, I think it's where we get to pick three players to take a, take a closer look at. And I think, again, coming off that heavy turnover game there from Mr. Jalen Hurts, I, I think we double dip here on the quarterbacks. Um, see, I'm a little worried about Atkinson just because I don't know. If that's a waste because are we going to have the first overall pick? It feels like it's got to be the Lions. And the Lions are going to grab a quarterback. So, like, you know, 80% completion on his scouting. Like, is that fine? Is that enough that if he's there, we know he's the best quarterback? Let's look at the secondary options. I think that's the case. So I want to look at Hauser. I want to look at McKee was the scrambler. I liked him. He had good speed. And I think, which was the other guy that I liked? It's one of these two. I wish I could go in and actually like see the player before I double check. Um, I remember Randy Gray was like the well-rounded quarterback. So we'll do that. We'll do McKee, Gray, who we, I think he was the quarterback that was mock draft to us. And then we'll take a look at Hauser. Those will be our three. But again, I think it's just, it's, it's easy it's safe just to continue to focus on the quarterbacks. So that's the biggest decision for our franchise going forward. Got some stat points as well. And I, I'm i still thinking in the train of thought that I don't know if Nick Sarah is going to be here next year. So until you know, I until my confidence is at least broken a certain threshold with Sirianni, 
I, I'm not going to spend my staff points there. So I figure we might as well go in contracts. You know, these, these are going to be here for the the entirety of this Eagles franchise. So I think let's get a nice little upgrade there in the hometown discount. Everything is kind of expensive here. We're only five points off of, uh, you know, I think we should actually double dip there and get up to a 5% discount on players 85 overall to try to re-sign, try to keep them in the building. And hopefully, either hopefully either Nick Seri gets gets us into the playoffs, Sirianni, or there's a big time coach that is sitting there is a free agent in the offseason. I don't know. I'm trying to think, like, have I seen common names there? You know, usually you can get trends for common players that are in free agency, right? Sometimes, like, most often, you're seeing Devontae Adams in free agency in the first year. More times than not, you're seeing Marcus Williams, right? The safety from the Saints. He's always there in free agency. But I haven't really picked up on the head coaches or available coaches that are in there in the offseason. I want to say Harbaugh is one for the Ravens. I want to say... Mike Tomlin, I've seen there a couple times. And I would absolutely jump over either one. Especially Harbaugh started in Philly as a special teams coach. But let's see him here and over there. We have Sirianni for the remainder of the year. Give him a clean slate. If he can find a way to get us in the playoffs, have us at least competitive down the stretch, maybe we commit to him this offseason and then we can look at it next year, spending our staff points in player growth and staff mods in his skill tree. Weekly strategy. So for the Saints, I think the first thing, I don't feel too scared about having a game plan for Alvin Kamara. I mean, you look at the stats, that looks pretty good. And I don't care what they say, the number one thing we are working on is the short pass. Those stats are all pre-Michael Thomas, knowing that they do have Michael Thomas, knowing that they're most likely, when we get in there, going to just dump it off to Michael Thomas and Alvin Kamara. That is what we want to try to take away. Look at their defense. I mean, they're a very good defense. Pass yards is not the best. I don't know how about throwing it deep. Let's uh, let's do throw it. Let's throw it medium, just because I don't trust Jalen Hurts throwing it deep. But knowing that we can get yards through the air, that's that's pretty good. What's up, cat? My cat just said, "What's up?" Uh, let's get into practice. Quez, Mylotta, Devonte. Let's go, everyone. Have a healthy week of training. Get yourself some XP. Don't need any injuries. I will say that was kind of interesting wrench though, because what two weeks ago, three weeks ago, Devonte Maddox got hurt during practice and we just missed him for a game which sucked had to rely on a rookie so everyone got out of this one healthy oh you know what that means that means it's time for game time and to go spritz my ribs no one got any terms of overall upgrades that's frustrating that's annoying uh, okay let's focus focus mind off the meat it's time to bring the heat and beat the Saints. That rhymed. Let's go! This that Philly devil pulling up and I don't need a rental. Quick pitch to the outside. It's a house call C4 special. Take a check and we run it up. Got Quez heading up the sideline when it's do or die. We run it up. Ain't trying to flex, but it's high time that the eagle fly. Face of my city for Philly, we reppin'. It's all about green when we steppin'. I made up my mind of the day that I die, but they really gon' call me a legend. You know that it's now. The time is upon us. The chip on my shoulder is half with the heck of the axe in the south. For years, but tell them all how I turn the X to a weapon. This that free bird life, this that fly, eagle fly. We might tear down and build it back just to show us by design. Hey, this that free bird life, we ain't going out of fight. So go tell dad is watching the NY, better watch the back of time. That Philly devil pulling up, and I don't need a rental. Quick pitch to the outside, it's a house call C4 special. Take a check and we run it up. Got Quays heading up the sideline. Game Josh Sweat has returned from injury going up against Ryan Ramchick. That is a tough assignment, but you know he's want to be getting back at it. Got that big time contract. We got him third and seven here. Oof. Let's go higher grave. Let's try to avoid that. I mean, they got an outstanding offensive line there in New Orleans. Let's be completely honest. No way. Get out of here. PBU, big play, slay. That's a very quick three and up from the Saints. Start with a nice little run. Don't want to get too pass happy early. Got you a hell of a block there by Kelsey. Whoo! 18 yards. Could have been more by Kenny G. I would almost argue if that was Miles Sanders. A little bit faster. Maybe he would have been gone. Let's go. Let's keep them on their toes here. First and 10. You know I want to get this into Quez Watkins. 
You know I want to get this into Quez Watkins. Got behind the deep. Got it. You got to have that play. Got to have it. Come on, Quez. Oh, Montesators are so fast. Ah, oh, Quez, dude. That's a bummer. Here we go. Make him up. Nice little five yarder for Quez. Get his confidence back. Woo! Dig in! Oh, I think that's Ranger. What a grab! Looks like that that whole situation was way harder than what it should have been. But he came down with it, and I'm not going to complain. Let's go back to Dallas Goddard's side. I think he's actually doing a fairly good job there. On the, oh, Miles Sanders fights for it up to the one-yard line. Let's go. All momentum going the Eagles' way here on this opening drive. Second and inches. I'm going to tell you right now. Home game against the Saints. We are four-down territory. There you go. Great blocking. Great scheme. And Miles Sanders, the hottest running back in the NFL, punches it in. Eagles up 7 zip. Oh, come on. Too easy. Oh, Josh White gets it with the pressure. Harris. Hey, it's a PBU. Wasn't pretty, but Kamara didn't come down with it. Let's go push. Heat seeking missile. Like a heat seeking missile. Ah, oh, it's, it's blocked up well. Too aggressive. What is that tackling? Why are you so like what was the little tippy toes? Little tippy taps there. Just hit him. Wow. Slants. Jameis learned something from Drew Brees, man. Just slant. Just nothing but slants. Whatever. Whatever, man. Just as easy for us on offense, okay? Just knowing it's gonna be a shootout. That third defense looks as bad as our defense. That's a win. Man, this play is money for Jalen Rager. Note to self, that's the Rager play. Let's go, Quez. Come on, Quez. We're giving you the easy slant inside, buddy. Wasn't there. I'll just run again. They, they might, like, I, I feel like they did something to nerf the slants. Slants were unstoppable. And now it's like, you're lucky if you can actually find someone that's open. Good, that's a good stop there. I don't know who that is. Correa. Tackle. Oh, we might be able to get the block B. Get the block B. Fumbled it out of bounds. It's fine. Let's go to the air here, man. They're doing a good job, like, limiting the runs here for sure. Second and eight. Devontae Smith. With Dallas Goddard. The Oh, get off him. Roby, get off him. Do the exact same thing they did. March down the field and then just get a super easy touchdown. Let's go. Second Teddy of the game for Miles Sanders. Answers what Alvin Kamara is doing on the Saints side of the ball. Okay, we got to get Flex going. No pressure from anybody else. He had one okay play from Josh Sweat. Oh my God, they're carving us up. Oh, we got the pressure with Flex. And we just somehow tackled through the legs of Troutman. Man, he's just getting it out too quick. No time for the pass rush to even get there. Need our linebackers to help us out here. It's Jameis Winston! Easiest quarterback to trick. Let's let's disguise some, you know, some 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 coverages here. And we're just out no, out. No, we're just not. Okay. One of them games. Okay. There you go, Kenny G. Sub it in, getting a good rotation in. Can't remember who got the ball first. I feel like this might be a drive we do want to run so that there's not the tackle high. There's not a whole lot of time for them to do anything because they're scoring quick as well. So, yeah, actually, let's make sure that this is the last the last drive of the first half. Nothing crazy here. Just get that. Let's just move the chain. Something. Quez Watkins across the middle of the field. Devontae, can't pay attention to him. Actually, I want to send him deep. Give him that chance. Make a play for us. Oh, just make the catch. Hey, did that get out of bounds? Nope, keeps the clock rolling. That's actually what we want. How is he so bad at the slants? How is Jalen Hurts so bad at the slants? Entry-level play. Execute it. I think I gotta I think I gotta up the quarters here. Like I feel like I'm not I'm not just running the ball, but because I'm running the ball, there's like no time to get 
You know, respectable pass numbers here. That's a blessing. Bless him! Where are we kicking? Okay. Holy. That was pick six city. My best kick either. We compensate for the win. Get the field goal. No four picks like last week. I, like, usually that's how it works too. Usually it feels like your quarterback has like a momentum meter when they throw a lot of picks. Those things, that roll of the dice is an interception your way, but it does feel nice every now and again knowing that, you know, for every two to three drop interceptions that I get from my, you know, CPU guys on defense, it goes both ways, you know? It does both. I was here yesterday. It does both. It actually does both. Show it to anyone that gets that reference. Uh, this, this is easy. This is, this is easy, fellas. No points. They do not get any points. We're going to halftime up three. Oh, he's short. Nice. Hail Mary. Okay. gonna pad my stats honestly at this point oh my if if demario davis wasn't there i think we had enough juice that might have been a touchdown but congrats jalen hurts padding his rushing stats there a little bit as we come out of halftime pretty sure we get the ball let's work on uh throwing a medium again and 100 percent defending the short pass that is what we do not want to give me and we get the ball back we can run the ball on anybody. Even the Saints, who are pretty good on defense. Let's go. Find through the... Just through the traffic, navigating. Got the Waze app in his goddamn head, head right there. The little earpiece. It's the Waze app showing him the quickest way to get the first down through all that traffic. We'll say I'm a little embarrassed that we don't have 100 yards passing yet with Jalen Hurts. Let's see if we can uh, give him some easy touches here. Like right there, Dallas Goddard. I'm going to say also, this is Jalen Hurts' fault. He's missed two or three very easy throws that I fully expect my starting quarterback to make. Oh, oh you suck. Really, C4. That's just... That's just shitty throwing. Roby did not go with Gainwell at all. And you just want to get a target there for Devontae Smith. And that's terrible. There we go. Togiai. Middle of the field. Okay, I got the seven win kick. Very expensive kicker. Expect him to make it. That's pretty goddamn down the center. Cut the lead. Or deficit. Cut the deficit. I feel like we should have the lead. The only one. Good PBU, Darius Slay. And you know what? We threw a bad pick with Jalen Hurts. I think Winston has a couple of those in him as well. You just got to force it. Biggest thing right now is we are getting no pressure. I don't think we've sniffed him yet today. We need to win here. Full kudos to their O-line. But Fletcher Cox, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Fight the, if, if, if Fletch is getting double teamed, someone else needs to make a fucking play. Hard grave. Let's go, buddy. No, he doesn't want to be out there. Home game, I can tell you right now, everyone there wearing, wearing midnight green, piss is running down their leg, they don't want to be here. I can't hide everyone on defense. Everyone is playing like shit, and there's no scheme that you can scheme up to hide everyone on your defense, okay? Feels like we're playing with a bunch of fucking backups out there. Look at that, no one wants to make a play. You got Devin Bush tackling a ghost. It's unbelievable. I just gotta, I just gotta be Devin Bush. I just gotta try to influence the game in other ways. Okay, so the A button, if you I thought I thought when you're when you're when you're tracking you hit A, that's safe tackle. It's actually the, the A button on your Xbox. Like if you're controlling your guy and you want to line a guy up, A button is not safe tackle anymore. There must have been some sort of uh, change in button. It's actually don't want to make a play button. Good to know. Won't happen again. I'll just fucking hit stick, I guess. 
X from here on out. We are hit sticking. We're a hit sticking defense. No, nope, no one wants to make a play. Guys wide open down the field. Too afraid. Moments too big for everyone on this defense. I cannot believe the the, the abundance of suck. That is my pass rush right now. It, you know, it, it is what it is. We're going to have to score touchdowns. Four down territory because they are scoring every time they get the ball. It is what it is, man. Let's go, man. Come on. Someone make a play. Someone make a play. Hey, it's Roby again. He's making plays. Fucking, I, I, I just need to see for myself. This is not a quarterback controversy, but like, we need, we need, we need like a guy that can just get the ball. I might have to go to Flacco. I'm sick and tired of his lack of throw power. These worm burners. I, I feel like some of these interceptions are like 50-50 balls that are just not getting to my receiver quick enough, right? Hey, look at that. There's fire coming off of that. It was sizzling. Look at that. We got him. Fuck. Like, Flacco probably has the strongest arm on my roster. I don't, And I don't want to play with Joe Flacco. But we need someone that can throw it reliably 10 yards downfield. Is that Minshew? Maybe. Hey, look at this. These guys are just getting open for Gardner. P. Turner. Oh, they mean like the shitty pick the Saints made in the first round? Yeah, he's making plays against us. Four down territory, third and 24. Don't need to get all one play. Can get it in multiple plays. There we go, Devontae Smith. We have, in one drive, almost got Jalen Hurts' total passing for the game. Oh, there's the difference, though. There's the difference right there. If that was Hurts, I mean, it gives... Uh, you can't have it all. You want to run the ball, you get Jerry Lynn Harris. You want to throw the ball, maybe it's Minshew. We got Fletch. He might got a chance here. I don't know. Probably not. But maybe. Okay, back-to-back -back sacks. We might have something. Did switching QBs light a fire under my team? We'll find out. Why is Greg Ward like my 80s? I got to fix that as well. Why is 80 Greg Ward a punt returner? Come on, our QB room sucks. I'm just starting to feel like regardless of who's under center, QB room, not, not good enough to rely on them to make us plays. Good throw. Let's go, Minchie. What do you got? What do you got for me, Min? Ooh. You heard that comment? You heard, and he does a slide. He goes head first. That's why you like Minchie. Okay, we got a slant here. Quez, Rager, Smith. Come on, buddy. Can you execute the slants? Jalen Hurts can't execute the slants. Can you execute the slants? And he can to Jalen Rager. The Eagles have a pulse. Let's go. He hits the Ric Flair. Here we go. Oh, my God. We Time out. We might have something here. What, like, what happened to the Saints play calling? Like, ever since they got the lead, they're just like, actually, we're going to, you know, not insta-throw it. God. We got the ball back. We got a chance. All right, Minshew Mania running. I, I don't know. I'll say this. I'm not going to say that. Okay. I don't know what I'm saying. I, what I'm saying is I don't think there's going to be a QB controversy. Pretty sure next week Jalen Hurts will be our starter. But if Minshew can find a way to tie this up. I wouldn't even say if he has to the two-pointer. If he can find a way to get this get this offense down the field. Eat a sack first to get get like get acclimated to the game, and then find a way. Get this offense in the end zone. 
I'm gonna say at least I'm at least gonna think about it. This is a very piss poor first two plays. No one wants to make a play for me. No one wants to get open. No one wants to get open. I think we just fell victim a little bit there as well as trying to get it all in one play. Knowing that we're four down, should have took something easier. All right, we got Devontae Smith. You want to shoot, shoot? Top of the screen, Heisman winner. No one knows who that corner is. Roby. Beat him. Actually, we'll just get sacked because the moment was too big for my offensive line. They knew. They saw the bright lights of like, man, do you think like if... If uh, Minshew gets a touchdown here, we're going to have to like have a new quarterback. And then the ball they were thinking about that, they weren't focusing on the man in front of them, and the pocket just utterly collapsed. One Mississippi, two miss, like a three-second pocket. Need more than that when you're going for the last second Hail Mary there. Very disappointing. Landon Dickerson didn't want to be there. Didn't want to make a play. Knew we should have drafted JOK. Dickerson's out there going, I've had so many injuries. What are you doing drafting me in the second round? I'm not ready to make a big time play here. And that's that's how that one played out. And we're on a two game losing streak with Minshew playing better than uh, Jalen Hurts. I mean, better is relative because Jalen Hurts just wasn't playing very good. He could scramble good, but just as a quarterback uh, was not having elite ball placement. 27-35 was a close game. I mean, Saints are on fire. They moved to 7-3. Slightly better roster. But, I don't know, man. We got, to, I don't know. I don't really think there's much to ask about for quarterback yet. I mean, by this time, you know, Saints are playing a different defense. They had the lead. But, it's at least opening the door to that conversation. Uh, because we got to figure out what we have. And, like, we're seeing what we got with Jalen Hurts. He's a guy that's just... Late third quarter, still has 100 passing yards. Be it, that's all I trust with him to throw it, or that's all he can connect with. And that's not good enough. Minshew did 100 yards in two drives. Uh, we can still run the ball with anybody. You know, he hurts, did a good job keeping the ball on the ground. 100 yards, two touchdowns. Miles Sanders continues to be the hottest running back in the NFL. It's just our passing offense, man. You got to have a complimentary offense, and we don't have that right now. Does, does you know, huge game Fletcher Cox, two TFLs, two sacks. But, like, does making the switch to Minshew at some point give us that more balance? Or is it just window dressing for the bigger problem is that we just don't have a quarterback right now? I guess a small silver lining is three of our main starters get upgrades here. Jalen Ray going up at a 76. He's actually been kind of impressive. Plus one catching, plus one speed. Certainly helps up to 94 speed. Him, Quez Watkins, complimentary burners. Derek Barnett up to a 77. He hasn't done a whole lot, but he did have a sack last game. Not really changing my opinion on whether or not he deserves a contract extension yet but he's doing fine and then again miles sanders up plus two more out to an 87 good ball carrier juke and spin i mean i do use his juke quite a bit but there's no other way about it man that's a rough loss that's a rough loss and this i think i think we have and, and I, again i don't unless people unless you guys are thinking that we at least see what Minshew has I think these are two good games into our week 14 bye to like, if Jalen Hurts can't get the passing game going against the Giants and the Jets, you know, maybe we, you know, explore other options, but it's still like an upside thing. Like I still know there's probably more upside in Jalen Hurts than Minshew. Like what's Minshew, like even if Minshew plays well, he's probably not going to hit a dev trade. We're probably not going to pass on one of the top quarterbacks to stay with Minshew, but it's. I don't know, man. We got to get it going. I'm sick and tired of having like 100 yards passing in a game. And, and there was misses there from Jalen. Jalen Hurts had two really bad misses where if he connects with them, who knows? Especially 35-27. That's a close game. It's a one-score game. Uh, we do have a breakout player. We'll wait till the next episode to figure that one out. But I will say as I close this one out, as the acting general manager or whatever we're going to call it here of this Eagles franchise... Jalen Hurts is going to be our starter against the Giants, but an incredibly short leash. He's he's right next to me. He's he's not going anywhere. Don't need to don't need to reel him in. He's right there, and we'll yank him if you know we got to go Minshew Mania or we got to go at this point. At this point, honestly, at this point, I don't think I don't even think this is off the table. 
when Mr. Jackson, Tyree Jackson out here comes back, I don't, I don't know if this is off the table. Because I think my biggest thing right now, call me a, a size queen for, whatever, for a throw power. But at this point, I just need someone with a cannon. And my fifth string tight end has a cannon. I don't know. I, I, I mean, who is it? It has to be Flacco, right? Yeah, 90. I mean, it, Mitchell has even less throw power than Jalen Hurts. Like, I knew that. I knew they were probably, like, arguably when Minshew was to start for the Jags, it was like, probably Hurts and Minshew would have been my guess for the lowest throw power. Is it Flacco top? I mean, I mean, Minshew didn't really have to make any deep passes, I guess. Like, where's the difference here? Like, does Minshew have any attribute better than Jalen Hurts? Eight, okay, so he has better two, plus two short accuracy, minus three mid, minus two deep. Way off throw on the run. Like, he has better play action and better short accuracy. That's the difference right now between Flacco and Hurts. And Hurts is just such a better... I mean, again, you know, I, I stick with my previous statement. That we are going into the Giants game with Jalen Hurts as our starter. And from that, we'll make a decision, right? About halftime. Maybe we'll evaluate at halftime to see whether or not we have the right guy in there at quarterback. Well, that'll do it for here today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit subscribe. Getting very close to 150,000 subscribers. Would love to hit 1,200 likes on today's video. And we'll be back tomorrow. Very interested to see what the guys think in the comments there about the quarterback situation. But if all goes well, we get our likes. Tomorrow will be this Week 12 game against the New York Giants. And I'll see you guys then. Go Eagles. Hopefully kick the crap out of the Raiders. Hopefully these ribs are going to be absolutely fire. I'll probably post a little screenshots like a food hipster on my Instagram, uh, which you can follow. I think that's in the description. If not, it's pop, uh, C4 YouTube on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.